Your iPhone only has a handful of physical buttons used to control your phone. A power button alongside the volume rocker allows you to turn the display on and off and adjust the volume of your device. And on older models, you'll also find a home button for unlocking your device and returning to the iOS home screen. Physical buttons can break and fail, so if you're having problems with the buttons on your phone, here's how to enable virtual controls on your iPhone. All iOS devices have a power button that works to wake your device from sleep and to turn the device off fully by holding the button down for a number of seconds. If that button stops working, of course, turning off your iPhone seems like a difficult task. Luckily, iOS includes workarounds on your device to allow you to control your phone without relying on physical buttons. The hardest task is putting your iPhone to sleep, something you'll do dozens of times each day that requires the use of the power button. Dive into the settings menu, select General, then Accessibility. From this menu, find Assistive Touch. Though designed as an option for those who may have trouble using the iPhone without an adaptive accessory, those with non-functioning power buttons can use Assistive Touch to control their iPhone display. Enable the option and a small virtual home button will appear on your display as a floating icon. Tapping on this allows you to open a full menu of shortcuts. To turn the display off, select Device, then Lock Screen. Obviously, this method involves three unique clicks to turn your display off. So while that option will work for some, we're going to set some custom actions within Assistive Touch. If you have an iPhone 6S or newer, not including the iPhone XR, the easiest shortcut is using 3D Touch on this virtual button. Select 3D Touch from the menu in your settings, then assign lock screen to this shortcut. Now when you hard press on the virtual button, your display will turn off just as if it was a real button. If you have a phone that lacks 3D Touch, consider using the double tap or long press options to emulate the same idea. Finally, if you're going to turn your iPhone off completely without using the power button, you can find that option within settings at the bottom of the general menu. To turn your iPhone back on, plug it into a charger and wait for it to reboot. If your iPhone's battery is dead, you'll have to wait for the device to charge to 30% before it automatically turns back on. If you enjoyed this guide, make sure to check out these other videos you might like, and subscribe to Tech Junkie for brand new videos every day.